priority local forecast. Welcome back, everybody. Let's start with our RV World of Yuma Sky Cam, just giving you a peek of the Yuma area amongst the rest of the desert southwest as we're about to settle in on another weekend. Let's take a look at what we're seeing. As far as the overall satellite radar peripheral is concerned, you see out in the Pacific, there definitely is some precipitation working its way into San Diego County. We've even had some kind of roll through into central Arizona as well, kind of missing the desert southwest, but there are bands beginning to form uh, just on the west side of Imperial County. So we'll continue to keep that monitored, but you can see uh, wind concerns abound at least just to the east of Imperial County, I should say just to the west. As you can see, that's going to continue on into the evening. Now, here's what we're looking at. As far as the winds are concerned, you can see that uh, we do have somewhat of a contingency. We got 15 to 20 mile per hour winds in the Arizona side of the desert southwest, and we're a little uppity uh, further to the west as well. Now, temperatures as they stand, we're talking about uh, the range being between the mid to high end 60s, some cases even into the low end 70s. Then we go to the Gila Valley side of things, and you can see that we are uh, pretty much for the most part in the low end 70s range as far as the mercury is concerned, but we're expecting lower temperatures to settle in as we get on into the days ahead. And a big reason why is this guy right here, this low pressure disturbance that we already saw on the satellite radar, uh, definitely working its way in, and that's going to bring in, uh, again, the winds and uh, maybe even a slight chance of some uh, rainy weather as well, at least overnight on into tomorrow. But you can see the trajectory of this is going to go up into the Rockies, and so the better chances of getting that precip uh, well to the north of us. But again, we're not out of the realm of possibility of at least getting a little bit of something out of it. Here's a look at things now. you got high pressure that's being pushed further to the east, and of course that trough continues to work its way in. And this is going to be, again, our weather maker as far as the next few days are concerned. So if you're heading out to the midnight at the Oasis, uh, you may want to be prepared for a little bit of wind, especially come Saturday. Here's a look at what we're seeing as far as the wind is concerned. You can see that it will kick up from time to time, especially to the west. So uh, don't be surprised if we actually uh, see maybe a wind advisory pop up in Imperial County in the next couple of days. Your metric has 55 degrees by 8 a.m. We'll check in in the high end 60s by the mid-afternoon before we take those temperatures down a little bit or maybe even move them up a little bit as we get on into the evening time. Your air quality index presented by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. You can see for the most part we got moderate air quality in the area. And for your Yuma International Airport extended forecast, a 20% chance of some showers for Friday. And that's going to set up for at least a breezy start to the Midnight at the Oasis event. And things uh, could uh, settle down by Sunday as it closes out. But the Imperial Valley uh, we're going to notch up those winds as we hinted to you and even have a little bit of better chance of a little shower activity as well. Uh, keep in mind, the, the further north you go, the better the chances are. So that's kind of how we're looking. Of course, temperatures are going to be in the low 70s, at least for the weekend, before we start to recover as we get on into next week.